So I've changed my mind for this tutorial. I was going to do graphing because that's the next thing in the textbook. But it occurs to me that um, one of the things the textbook doesn't go over, and it's kind of important, is how to do a lot of basic entry stuff. So I am going to make you a tutorial about that. So first thing I'm going to do is go back here and clear this up. Move this sucker over. Go on, get out of my way. Okay. So, and this is not going to be off of any notes in particular, I'm just going to make it up. Alright, so let's see here. A couple of things to notice. Um, you can see that the last calculations that I did are stored in the calculator. Um, it, it keeps access to all that information for a while. So if you want a, a nice clear screen and you don't have any of the stuff, you have to press clear. And there's the clear screen. Alright, so let me do some other things. Suppose I, I take 56, take away 65, enter. Okay, now notice something about the TI calculators. This, see that button right there in the middle? That's a subtraction. I did that with this guy down here, this minus button. Okay, But what I end up with is a negative 9. See how it's a little bit higher and a little bit smaller? It's a negative symbol, which is actually this button down here at the bottom in parentheses. Notice the minus subtraction button doesn't have parentheses, and the negative button does. Okay, so if you accidentally, for example, type 56 negative 65 and press enter the calculator says error syntax because it has no idea what the heck you're trying to do um, when it does this sometimes it helps if you press number two. Oh, and that gives me another thing um, the ti 483s are hot keyed so if you see that the one is dark you could just press enter if you wanted one or if you want number two you have two options you can actually just press two and it'll go to that called a hotkey, or you can go down with the down arrow, and then now that the 2 is dark, you can press enter. Either way. And you can see that the cursor is blinking on what the mistake was, right? It doesn't understand what you want with the whole negative thing. And you go, oh, whoops, I didn't mean that to be negative. I meant to be subtraction. You can press the subtraction button, and it automatically overwrites it as a, a, a minus, right? The default in this calculator is to overwrite. Which leads me to another issue. Suppose you said, oh, whoops, I meant 165, not 65. So you could retype it, yes, yes, I know. But you could also use a handy feature. All right, look above your Enter button. Do you see where it says Entry? It's in blue or yellow. So I'm going to hit Second, Enter. And it brings back the last thing that I typed. And then I can go in there and I can type. Whoops, come here. Hold on. Sorry about that, my computer was being possessed. Okay, so I can I can go back and forth and back and forth. But if I type 1 to take 165, oops, it writes it over. So I'd have to write 165. Mm -mm -mm. All right, well, there's a couple other ways. Let me show you something else. If I do second, enter, that brings the last thing I did. Second, enter again brings the thing above. Isn't that awesome? And then I go, oops, I wanted a 1 in there, so let me go left, left. Okay, above your delete key, there's a delete key, it says INS, that stands for insert. I want to insert a 1 here, so I press second, DEL key, and then I can type a 1, and then enter, and it did it as well. Isn't that awesome? Um, the second entry thing will work, let me do, do a couple of them. There's the last thing I did. There's the thing before that. There's the one before that. There's the one before that that had the typo in it. There's the one before that, and so on. Right? So it lets you go through a whole bunch. If I press clear right now on this line, I'm sitting here with this line. If I press clear, it just clears out that line. Now if I press clear again, it'll clear the whole screen. All gone. Alright, so that's the second entry thing. One last thing. Suppose I knew I wanted my last answer and I want to do something with it. That's above the negative button. So you go second, negative. It takes your last answer, whatever that was, and I want to multiply it by 2, for example. There we go. And it takes that last answer. But it doesn't cycle through. Second enter, the entry thing cycles through and goes through a whole bunch of them, like 